Hello and happy day. How does slowing down sound to you today? Would you like to reduce the noise for just a bit? Are you ready to make a choice and decide to listen? My name is Igor S.F. Walker. I'm here to remind people to slow down, to reduce the noise, to walk their lives into a natural flow. Welcome back to the Book of the Week series. Every week, as I read another amazing title, I share it with the world. And today we look at becoming supernatural, how common people are doing the uncommon by Dr. Joe Dispenza. This is one of my favorite books of this year. I found that when something is true in life, that truth shows up in many different ways. For this reason, it comes as no surprise that the scientific documentation from Dr. Dispenza leads to the same conclusion that Milarepa and mystics throughout centuries arrived at in the past, that the universe is as it is, that our bodies are as they are, and the circumstances of our lives exist as they do because of consciousness itself and the way we think of ourselves in our world. When we experience for ourselves or witness in another person something that we've once believed to be impossible, we are freed in our beliefs to transcend those limitations in our own lives. We know that it takes a clear intention a coherent brain, and an elevated emotion, a coherent heart, to begin to change a person's biology from living in the past to living in the future. The combination of mind and body, of thoughts and feelings, also seems to influence matter. That is how you create reality. In fact, moving from beta brainwaves where the thinking brain is constantly analyzing and putting much attention on the outer world, to alpha brain waves, which indicate you're calmly placing more attention on the inner world, is key. By consciously slowing your brain waves down, you can more rapidly program the autonomic nervous system. The combination of various people or objects at a particular time and a place from a stressful experience is etched in our neural architecture as holographic image. That is how we create long-term memory. Therefore, the experience becomes imprinted in the neural circuitry and the emotion is stored in the body. And that's how our past becomes our biology. In other words, when we experience a traumatic event, we tend to think neurologically within the circuitry of that experience, and we tend to feel chemically within the boundaries of the emotion from the event. So our entire state of being, how we think and how we feel, becomes biologically stuck in the past. Tremendous sadness, pain, victimization, grief, guilt, shame, despair, anger, hatred, frustration and resentment, shock, fear, anxiety, worry, overwhelm, anguish, hopelessness, powerlessness, isolation, loneliness, disbelief and betrayal. And none of those emotions dissipate quickly. If you keep doing the same routine over and over and over again, they will become a habit. A habit is a redundant set of automatic unconscious thoughts, behaviors and emotions that you acquire through frequent repetition. Basically, it means your body is now on autopilot, running a series of programs, and over time your body becomes the mind. You've done this routine so many times that your body automatically knows how to do certain things better than your brain or conscious mind. You just switch on the autopilot and go unconscious. 
which means you will wake up the next morning and essentially do the same things all over again. In a very real sense, your body is dragging you into the same predictable future based on what you have been repeatedly doing in the same familiar past. You will think the same thoughts and then make the same choices that lead to the same behaviors that create the same experiences that produce the same emotions. Over time, you've created a set of hardwired neurological networks in the brain and you have emotionally conditioned your body to live in the past. And then that past becomes your future. Emotions are energy in motion. All energy is frequency and all frequency carries information based on our own personal thoughts and feelings. We're always sending and receiving information. The only way we can change our lives is to change our energy. To change the electromagnetic field, we're constantly broadcasting. In other words, to change our state of being, we have to change how we think and how we feel. If you've spent years conditioning your body to the cycle of thinking and feeling, then feeling and thinking, without realizing it, you've also conditioned your body to become addicted to these emotions. So simply changing the external environment by, say, getting a new job doesn't necessarily break the addiction any more than someone addicted to drugs would be able to stop their cravings just by winning the lottery or moving to Hawaii. Because of the thinking, feeling, feeling, thinking loop, sooner or later after the novelty of the new experience is over, most people return to their baseline emotional state and the body believes it is in the same old experience that created the same old emotions. So if you were miserable in your old job but managed to get a new one, you might be happy for a few weeks or even a few months. But if you had spent years conditioning your body to be addicted to misery, you would eventually return to that old emotion because your body would crave its chemical fix. Your outer environment may have changed, but your body will always believe it is internal chemistry more than external conditions. So it remains emotionally locked into your old state of being. After all, if you focus on the known, you get the known. If you focus on the unknown, you create a possibility. Gratitude is a powerful emotion to use for manifesting because normally we feel gratitude after we have received something. So the emotional signature of gratitude means it has already happened. When you are thankful or you feel appreciation, you're in the ultimate state to receive. When you embrace gratitude with your body as the unconscious mind, it will begin to believe it is in the future reality and the present moment. As your thinking brain, your neocortex slows down. You're able to be get beyond the analytical mind, also called the critical mind, which separates the conscious mind from the subconscious mind. Now you're able to move into the seat of your body's operating system, the autonomic nervous system, and now your brain can work in a more holistic fashion. One of the main purposes of meditation is to move beyond the analytical mind. What separates the conscious mind from the subconscious mind is the analytical mind. As you slow down your brain waves, you move out of your conscious mind and thinking brain past the analytical mind into the operating system of the subconscious mind where all of these automatic programs and unconscious habits exist. Thoughts create biochemical reactions in your brain that release chemical signals and those chemical signals make the body feel exactly the way you were thinking. Those feelings then cause you to generate more thoughts that make you feel the same way you were just thinking. 
So your thoughts drive your feelings, and your feelings drive your thoughts, and eventually this loop hardwires your brain into the same patterns which condition your body into the past. And because emotions are a record of past experiences, if you can't think greater than how you feel, then thinking feeling loop keeps you anchored to your past and creates a constant state of being. This is how the body becomes the mind or in time how your thoughts run you and your feelings own you. So once your body becomes the mind of that emotion, your body is literally stuck in the past. True leadership never needs confirmation from others. It requires a clear vision and a change in energy that is a new state of being that is sustained for a long enough period of time and executed with a strong enough will that it causes others to raise their own energy and become inspired to do the same. Please help out. It is easy. Simply like this video so more people can enjoy it. Share it too and spread the word. Subscribe to my channel and stay up to date. Link to this book is in the description below, so buy it and read. Never stop learning. Thank you. Love and respect.